I've been coming to Plymouth since 1959. We join on the 50th anniversary of the building. So I've been a member for 60 years. It was a very proper church. We wore hats and gloves. And I remember one time, Vi Khan, the minister's wife, walked down the aisle without a hat on. And everybody, Vi's not wearing a hat. Vi's not wearing a hat. Vi's not wearing a hat. So soon nobody was wearing hats. <laughs> Howard Kahn came to visit us and said we should be in a, a couples group. That's what they were called in those days. And we should be, join Curiosity Club. Curiosity was because uh, at that time there were a number of men were associated with education or the university, and so they were curious. So we became the Curiosity Club. And he set it up, so we went off to Curiosity Club, and I'm still in it. It was going. We was already a going club at that time, so it's been going for over 60 years. It's amazing. I do remember one thing in particular. The summer program was always one sheet of paper, and the back side was just basic information. The front was the current you know, thing for the day. And it said at the very top, Plymouth is a God-centered church, but we follow the teachings of Jesus. And I like that. I consider myself a God-centered person, and while I believed in Jesus, I never could go around. I don't even like saying Christian. I don't like saying I'm a Christian. That just doesn't sit well with me. I'm a God-centered person. Well, we're free to think what we want. We can be with people that we think some things are alike on, and we don't on all things. But we can manage to get along. And we have the freedom to go our exploring our own way, but with other people who are also exploring. And it seems to be much more open-ended. Well, my answers are maybe different than yours, and that's okay. And I, then I find enough people have similar interests, and that's good too. But I think that we need to have more diversity, more expansion of thoughts, so I can learn how our views are different and see how compatible we can be. <laughs> the other thing is people are very strong-willed here, strong-minded and strong-willed. I'm one of them too. <laughs> I can't say I can't say about those other people. I'm part of it. <laughs> people definitely take sides on. They're very strong, opinionated people here. <laughs> well, they probably are everywhere, but uh, and then somehow it evens out and it it corrects itself somehow. I don't even know why. I don't know how. Maybe God has something to do with it. <laughs> the spirit yeah. comes and reigns over us and makes everybody think twice before they make nasty remarks. <laughs> but I think we have to face the way we have been, the way we've grown from when we arrived here at 1620 at Plymouth Rock. We have a lot to learn about our background and accept that we were not perfect people. Nobody is, but we don't talk about that. We just think about the good, good things and all the good stuff we've done, the education, the schools we've started, the programs we've done, how we've helped with this and that and the other thing. Um, that's part of it. It's not all of it. I mean, as we get into things like studying racial justice, we have not done the best as white privileged people. We have not done the best. I mean, we're, it started way back, what, 16, 19? And we're still having problems. If we accepted other points of view, valid points of view, like the, what our white privilege does for us and what it doesn't do for other people, and accept that and then try to change. Well, I think we've done that some with homelessness in some ways. but And we keep doing it here and here in little park, pockets of places, but it's not across the board. And I don't know that it ever will be, but it's certainly a goal.